you are quite in time for this show that takes you around the world without a visa, literally speaking. And today we will take you to United Arab Emirates, Senegal and Kenya. Our main guest today is Chege, a Kenyan civil engineer who is making a great contribution to the transformation of Dubai City. In a nutshell, this is the outlook of today's show. I got my first job basically from the airport. That time they were commissioning the Mall of Emirates. He is part of the works in the ever-changing Dubai skyline. Straight to Dubai and who is there? Michael Zimanji with the story of the daring Kenyan civil engineer. From record-breaking sites like the Burj Khalifa to the breathtaking landscape of the Palm Islands, not to mention the intricate transportation system, working in Dubai is definitely an engineer's dream. So you can imagine my excitement when I learned that one of our own is right in the middle of all this revolution in construction. Philip Chege is a civil engineer specializing in construction management. When I met him, he was busy putting the final touches to his latest construction project. Hey, Michael. Hey, Philip. How are you? Uh, thank you, Bana. Welcome to Dubai. Walking through his handiwork, I can't help but marvel at his expertise. Wow, it's so technological. Uh, yeah, we are using the latest technology in uh, home automation. Yeah. Dubai is a place where everybody from all over the world comes in and they bring a lot of rich ideas. Personally, I've met a lot of people from all over the world who bring a lot of rich ideas, a lot of new uh, building uh, technologies, a lot of things like home automation that you are seeing in this property. They are all foreign uh, stuff that have been designed elsewhere and perfected here. So they have a small kitchen to prepare snacks. When I came here, I got my first job basically from the airport the first day and the second day I had to start working. This was in 2003, July, a time like now, summer. So that time they were commissioning the Mall of Emirates and that was my first project that I did uh, commissioning. Yes, it was that simple. But even more interesting is the fact that getting the relevant work permits was also a walk in the park. Basically it's just you get your certificates in order, attested in Nairobi, from the foreign affairs, from the UAE embassy, bring here, you do the same, foreign affairs and the Kenyan embassy, and then you start doing the process with the authorities that are involved in construction. You do an exam and uh, they do a lot of each small test, they check on your certificates, and then uh, good to go if you pass your exams. This is Chege's 17th year working in Dubai. In all that time, he has not only perfected his craft, but has also been able to incorporate a company of his own. I realize there is a, a miss out in communication between the client who don't have time, or who are out of the country, or who are do business flying a lot, and the contractors. So that's where I come in. I decided to like set up a management uh, company that helps bridge that gap of communication, programming, and conveying the interest of the client to everybody involved in the project. It seems that the only way to go for this accomplished son of Thika is up. He, however, does admit that the journey hasn't always been easy. The biggest challenge that I have faced is language, because with the people who work below uh, engineer levels are usually Indians and they don't talk a uh, lot of English all Arabic people who have been brought and brought up with Arabic as their first language all uh, Urdu as their first language and those are the first languages that I had to learn so basically today I can hear all everything in Arabic and I can speak uh, everything in Urdu since daring abroad Chege has been involved in numerous construction projects, but that doesn't mean that he has forgotten home. 
I have my foot still in Kenya. I fly a lot. I have started a couple of projects in Nairobi. And at the moment, without even disclosing so much, we, have, we are working on something with the, with the Association of Kenyans in Dubai, where they want to do something very massive. And uh, they have really asked me to help them putting up a, a project that will help Kenyans living in Dubai uh, when they go back home. Uh, to have uh, something they can call theirs. For now, Chege has no intention of coming back anytime soon because to him, he's barely scratched the surface here in Dubai. But he does have this to say to all Kenyan professionals in his field. This land, everybody who works here is a foreigner. So I don't believe that it's a challenge because the others are doing it. The Indians are massively involved in construction. So if they have managed to do it, why not us? Chege's story is truly one of a kind. A story that the old boy of Chania Boys is proud of. And judging from the record-breaking buildings being constructed here, the sky is literally the limit for him. Quite an uplifting story there from Dubai by our reporter Michael Zimanjil.